Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to download your responses from Google Forms and code code them so that you can upload them to other software like Spaces. So once we have the responses, we go to this symbol and we click on it. So we are going to have this window, uh, which is the data in uh, spreadsheet in Excel spreadsheet. What we what we are going to do next is that we are going to go to the file and uh, click on download as Microsoft Excel. So once we have the Microsoft Excel file, uh, we have data like this. We can, for example, I just uh, made this font. We, if you want to change the photo so that it can appear clear to you, click Control A and change the photo from this box. So anyway, uh, we are going to just, uh, I'm going to show you how to code these uh, responses so that they can uh, be just numbers. So the, it's very easy. We, we need first to have our code book. So this is the code book. We are going to go back to the Excel spreadsheet and click, for example, on gender. So gender uh, as a variable has two values, namely female and male. We're going to click on find and replace. Okay. So, and then we can open our code book and see. So what is your gender? One male and two female. So it's better to start with two female. We're going to find and replace female with the value, which is two. Because if you start with male, this uh, it will have F1, which is not good. I'm going to explain in, in the spreadsheet. So imagine I'm going to start with male, find male and replace it, uh, for example, with one and click on replace all. Of course, you have this uh, column uh, selected. So we are going to click replace all and see what will happen. You see V1, F1, you see? So uh, I'm going to uh, undo this and show you the right way to do it. You have to be intelligent. So we start with female because female contain the word male and click on two and then we click on uh, replace all as you can see so we have our values coded two and male coded for example one I'm going to choose male and code it as one and click on replace all so you are going to do uh, this operation with all the other variables following this uh, uh, your uh, questionnaire code as you can see each question is coded and each uh, response is also coded one two three from the list values assigned as one and high values assigned the uh, four for example uh, for example, if we, I have a, a, five, a five point Likert scale, so I'm going to show you short way, a shortcut to, to copy and paste all this at once. So we go back to the questionnaire in the spreadsheet. Uh, so here we are going to select all these uh, sub questions related to uh, Likert scale and start uh, replacing. Again, you have to be careful. Uh, we have to start, for example, with strongly agree, strongly agree. If we uh, start with just agree, you will have problems. Okay, you start with strongly agree, all compound words first, followed by simple words. So we start with strongly agree as five and we cl click replace all. As you see, uh, we have replace all. Then we move to strongly disagree so we start strongly disagree you have to follow this order strongly disagree is assigned the value uh, one and click on replace all and you click ok then we move to neutral for example neutral is assigned the value three and we click Again, and we have we move to we we move to disagree. 
because if we go to agree you will have problem move to disagree and then uh, for example the code of disagree here is two okay so we click two and click on replace all and we are almost done so we still have just as you can see agree values agree we have agree as in our uh, code book as number four so we click on four and replace all that's it so as you can see this uh, scale uh, has been coded so now once you finish the questionnaire you go to a spaces uh, as you can see and click on file and open data set or uh, uh, open and click on data and look for the Excel uh, file on your the place where you you have saved the, the Excel file and once you upload it you are going to have the values like this as you can see we still need uh, to uh, put the labels we go to the label and then we use the code book and start labeling the variables for example here are the, the values we put for example one for for male we put for example one which is male and uh, two female and you click add and see so you I will have uh, uh, like this and i'm going to click cancel because i already uh, finished this for the scale you just copy and paste for already you do strongly agree strongly disagree etc uh, there is no need to repeat uh, typing all through the scale you just go you are going to copy and paste and paste copy and paste till you finish your uh, questions on the Likert scale that's it so we're going to run other tests I'm going to do a separate video on that see you in another video and good luck with your research